Today I'm going to share with you guys how I got mewing results quickly and the number one technique I have found that gets mewing results faster and that is stretching. Maybe it sounds boring, but when I first did these stretches I'm about to show you, I was blown away by how it immediately affected my ability to push my tongue on the roof of my mouth and make my face and body look better just by doing these stretches. Before I show you guys the exact stretches that I use, I want to explain why stretching is so important for mewing. Your tongue has a certain posture right now, that is a certain set point. A certain amount of your tongue is on your upper palate and likely it is less than ideal. This is what determines your face posture or your craniofacial shape. Mewing is all about getting 100% of your tongue on the roof of your mouth for the majority of the time and or perfecting your face posture. Now, if 100% of your tongue was on the roof of your mouth, that is the entire back third of your tongue, over time, you would have perfect facial structure. But this is easier said than done. Remember, your tongue is long and it goes all the way back to your pharynx into your airway. Say 70% of your tongue is on your palate. That means that you will have a certain degree of forward head posture because the force of your tongue is what anchors your head upright by pushing it up against your upper palate. What I discovered is that 70% forward head posture is also preventing your tongue from pushing up. Your forward head posture and bad posture is preventing you from mewing properly. You guys might have heard Mike Mew talking a lot about the Mackenzie chin tuck and improving body posture to improve face posture. That is because when you do the Mackenzie chin tuck, you're putting your head in a better position for your tongue and especially the back third of your tongue to be able to properly engage on your palate. The problem is, you can't walk around all day like that. Like you just look absolutely ridiculous. And who wants to have to think about this stuff all day? I have found that the key to getting faster results with mewing is to actually improve your posture so that your head and tongue are in a better position all day long without having to try and force good head posture. This will mean that you'll swallow better more naturally with the back third of your tongue and over time you will get a better looking face. Now without further ado, I'm going to share with you guys the stretching routine that I do every day. I do it every morning to get my tongue into the proper position for the entire day. The two posture issues we're going to address in this video are forward head posture and rounded back or kyphosis, which can also be known as rounded shoulders. To test the degree to which you have forward head posture, stand against the wall and relax with your butt against the wall and your feet almost touching and notice how far forward your head is from the wall. The more important of the two is forward head posture. The main goal with the stretching is trying to get your head into a better position naturally so when you're walking and going about your day, it's easier for you to mew and it's easier for you to swallow. Rounded shoulders also come into it though because the two generally go hand in hand. Head comes forward, your shoulders are going to come forward. So to fix it, we have to reverse and fix both of those things. So there are obviously many stretches that could improve your posture. These are the four ones that I've found that work the best for actually improving your ability to push your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Now what's important is not only doing these stretches, but how you do them. You want to be pushing up with the back third of your tongue and tucking your chin in the entire time. So this first stretch is for your biceps, for your shoulders, and also for the muscles in your neck. You're gonna to wanna to find a wall, preferably two walls, like you can see in this photo where you can do both biceps at once. Place your hand so that your palm is flat against the wall and push your chest out. What's important as you can see is that I'm tucking my chin in. By doing this, I'm gonna get my head into that proper position with my tongue pushing up and then what's gonna happen is the muscles that are stopping me from naturally being in that forward head posture position are gonna be stretched and your tongue will naturally begin to push more against your upper palate. The same is going to be true with this stretch I'm about to show you. This is the most important stretch for mewing and it's something that has a lot to do with the Mackenzie chin tuck. Essentially what you're going to do is again you're going to get your tongue into the proper position. You're going to tuck your chin in, 
push your tongue onto the roof of your mouth as hard as you can. Then once you're there, you're essentially gonna bring your arms up and pull your shoulders back. As you do this, you're gonna feel a stretch deep in your neck muscles on the back of your neck. So what is happening? And you're putting your head into that optimal position where it's easier for you to swallow, to mew, to speak, and do everything the way that your tongue should and in a better position, which is gonna improve your face posture. Now I recommend also doing these stretches in front of a mirror so that you can see the muscles being stretched and see the effects of it after you're done the stretch. Now these next two stretches are gonna to be to open up your thoracic spine as in to fix your rounded shoulders and help you stand up taller. The first is a pec stretch in a doorway. Essentially just go to a doorway, put your elbows about the height of your shoulders, lean forward a bit and just really make sure you feel that stretch throughout your pecs and that's gonna be great for helping you to stand up straighter and to mew better. This next stretch is for your lats or your back muscles and your thoracic spine mobility. This is one of my favorite stretches. Essentially what you do is you get a PVC pipe like you see I have in this video. If you don't have one of these, you can use a broomstick or you can use any long object like a hockey stick or whatever. Essentially you're gonna put two elbows on a bench, put your head parallel with the bench and just let your chest fall through like you see here and you'll really feel a stretch in those lats and that's gonna help you stand straight as well. Now if you aren't in a gym or you don't have access to a bench, you can easily use something that's about the same height, such as a chair or a couch as I'm showing in this example. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. I will be putting out more content in the future um, that I've experimented with all these things. And I know how some of you feel. It feels like no matter what you do, you can't get results in this and it's such a slow process. Trust me, I've struggled for years and years and years and years. I've been doing these stretches for so long. The fact that I finally figured out something that has worked and that gets results quickly is the reason I started of this channel best face forward I see people with these faces everywhere everywhere guys this is something that needs to be solved I think it's very important that we help people all try to become the best versions of ourselves that we can